You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? I'm not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <laughs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No. But she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I ah, Colorado tap water. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? How did this bird contest even work? Fuck you, Ryan Lucan. Enjoy your Birder of the Year title while it lasts. Ooh, shit. Ryan's got a rival. I wish Riley never found out about my condition. She needs to focus on her future, not mine. Riley found out? I wonder what this means for them. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Hey, is everything okay with you and Riley? For the most part. She's pushing herself too hard helping me. I just want her to focus on her own life now. Let me know what I can do. You've done so much already. I'm grateful, Alex. that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone.
Welcome. I'll be right with you. I better check in with Stefan Ryan. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But we're still workshopping them. Good to have options, right? So what are they? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that. You're the only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Let's go with Brian. Of course, you're a total smoke show, Steph, but for Diane, I think Brian is a good choice. This Ryan? This is like a bad dream. Look, I appreciate the, the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just gonna try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? I know Typhon's responsible for my brother's death. I don't know how, and I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Alex? I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. I should try reading Diane's emotions before we go any further. I'm sick of the lies and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. She's pissed. If I can stoke her anger at Typhon, maybe I can find out more. Good beer? Yep. William Bloom, huh? Yeah, he's the best. I'm sick of the lies, and I'm sick of taking the heat for this company. Do you belong to a church around here? Hmm? Oh, no. Honestly, I'm sort of lapsed with all that. I do miss it, though. Is that your niece and nephew? They must be proud to have a super-powered businesswoman for an aunt. I suppose. They do look up to me. I try to be the best role model I can. Do you have, um, enough napkins for the table? Uh, yeah. I'm fine, thanks.
Ethan's a great artist, isn't he? He sure is. Integrity to our very core. What? Oh, yeah. That's our motto. It... It's a motto. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? All right. That's the emotion I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's anger about Typhon. Okay, time to find out what Diane is really hiding. Does it fall within the tolerable limit? Well, as I say in the report, there's a small chance that debris from the detonation could- It's a simple question. It falls within the tolerable limits. Typhon brought me here, and look where it got me. Damn them all. Wait, there's something else. I didn't join Typhon to cover up a murder. If they try to pin this on me, I'll have everything I need to fight back. Holy shit. She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Diane? Hey, Ryan. What's up? Well, if you're free later, I was thinking we could go on a hike together. There's some beautiful trails up in the mountains. Oh, that sounds like a nice idea. Sounds fun. Ryan knows all about the local flora and fauna of Haven. Ryan, tell her about the flora and fauna. Oh, uh, well, that right there is a Colorado pinion jay. It can hold more than 40 seeds at a time with an expandable esophagus. That is impressive. So, what do you say? Hey, no rush. He's not going anywhere. Mull it over. Get back to him. Anyway, gotta go. <laughs> See ya.
I hope this was worth it. Password protected. Guess I'm not surprised. I'll bring this to Riley. See if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> So, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Wow. Typhon officially clears Typhon of any wrongdoing in death of local man at the hands of Typhon explosions. Okay, let me grab my hat. I'm really glad my advice helped. I didn't even know what to say when Charlotte gave this to me. How do you even respond to such a perfect gift. Wow. Steph is a rock star for putting this together. Ethan is gonna flip. I found some really cute photos of Gabe and Ethan on this thing. Life in Haven would be a lot worse without these two weirdos. Huh, there it is. Steph knows how to LARP on a budget. I hope Ethan likes it. Oh shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. Alex the Bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> One day, I'll stop being a freeloader. For now, I'm just grateful. Cheering up, or whatever. Okay, so maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... 
Gabe was so excited to LARP with you. I bet he'd really want you to do it. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah, especially my mom. She always looks so <sighs> sad. Because I'm like bummed out. But I can't just pretend. So, don't pretend. Just be yourself. Or yourself with a foam sword and a funny hat. But what if I'm still, you know, not having fun? Then don't. That's fine, too. No one will be disappointed in you for being you. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course. Thanor, the monster slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh, sure. A horde of ogres. That's a lot. Thanor slew them with a single shot. My goodness. So, you must be Thanor's bard, Alto, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The Age of Monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom, survive whatever's out there, and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go, now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting. What is that? It's a magic scroll we can use in fights. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Stirring him! Double Thanor's next attack! Burning 
Blade Blade. Two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. Ah! Two damage. Ah! I'm still on fire. Distortion field. One sound damage for the next two turns. <clears throat> two damage. Loot! Oh, cool! I learned a magic attack! <laughs> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going! What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. How do we know for sure it's dead? Should we tickle it? Stop it. Be serious. look like such a goofball. So much for being hot. Hot and goofball are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> At least in my book. I swung over the top once. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. Let's go to the peach. Hmm. Found a scroll? Yeah. Peach ice cream cake? I don't know. Got another scroll. Cool. Looks like the Black Lantern is part of the LARP. For within that tavern, it is quite gruesome. Sorry, we gotta get back to our quest. We're like master scroll seekers. Yup. I know this guy. He's one of Steph's co-workers. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. How are we supposed to know that? Maybe we can look for some clues. What's that about? Looks like you dropped something, Diane. It just pisses me off so bad, you know? The way this world is designed to make you into a horrible person. That's just the price we pay for safety and security, I guess. Is it? Are you sure? That's how it works. You sharpen your teeth or you starve. Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. What happened here? 
fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belong to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. All the drinks I want. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. I actually feel bad for that person. Ugh. Rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. Someone knows how to keep Thanor busy. Any luck opening the chest? Yeah, but it's empty so far. House barred. Sorry, Steph. Alto is pretty happy with her current gig. What happened to the rest of the music? This kingdom has serious problems. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to announce that all six of us remain upright and above uh, ground. First point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess, though, about how much longer are you fixing to live? Just long enough to collect, Gordon, and not a minute longer. I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. Here we go. This probably has the answer to that riddle. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. Guess Lawrence is gonna need a new business advisor. Thanor! Did you see this? That's got to be it! One down, two to go. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. Glad you finally believe in us. <laughs> That's not what I meant. Bye. Godspeed. Godspeed. Check out what I found in that chest. Nice work, Thanor. There was some really interesting stuff in there. Sorry. Hey, kid. You responsible for that? 
I saw that. Like, right before you picked it up. Okay, you can have the credit. No, I... Go get him, Ethan. I'm Thaynor. Go get him. Could there be something down the alley? This is boring. Why is my dead lover talking? Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Beware of river monster. <laughs> Some kind of snake? I guess. have to fight it. Why wouldn't we? I mean, it's kind of cute, isn't it? And not goofy looking at all. What are you talking about? It's gonna attack. What do you want to do? Hey, we're not here to hurt you. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Stirring him! Double Thanor's next attack. Two damage, and you're on fire for the next two turns. Oh. Two damage. Ah, I'm still on fire. Distortion field. One sound damage for the next two turns. Two damage. Spitting venom. Ah! I'm poisoned. Ah, I'm still on fire. Ah, my ears are ringing. Ow, poison damage. Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. <clears throat> Protected by Shield of Courage. Ah, my ears are ringing. Ow, poison damage. Stirring him, double Thanor's next attack. Two damage. Ow. Poison damage. Distortion field. One sound damage for the next two turns. Fire blast. Three damage to you. <clears throat> One to her. Sorry. Worth it. More loot. All right. Let's make some ears bleed. that? He 
It's like a dragon scale or something. Maybe it's got magical powers. Let's hang on to it. Yeah. Are you bummed out we had to kill the snake? Nah, it's fine. Did you see this scroll first? Uh, no. All right. He's brave and he's honest. Can't wait to transfix some monsters with my sweet hypnotic jams. Okay, we handled the river serpent. Thank you, adventurers. But you should... Come on. Ah. Disappointed? I thought I would finally get to go in. up on scrolls. I bet there's something fun in the record store. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Good for her. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to... Um, renew my Bard Guild membership. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 